Hey everyone, and welcome to the joyous, splendorous time where everyone is happy, no one's on mental breaks, and even the visitors are doing work for us. It's productive, happy, fun times, apparently, and literally, with friends, believe it or not. In any event, my goal uh, this episode is to build, actually, a store. I decided I have got all these things rotting out here. It'd be really cool if these guys had something to spend. If I could just like filter money out of them. I would love to give silver or get silver so I can put a silver floater in here to increase the cleanliness quite a bit. Speaking of, I saw this isn't here. Let's haul that urgently. And we do have a quite a bit of wood, something like 724. So if I build a little store over here at the very least, we could designate part of that store for things that people can buy. And we are desperately short on storage so i can at least designate part of the store for storage if not um, all of it for just selling stuff and hopefully this will free us up to make this into a bedroom for a soon to be a new person because we are indeed getting someplace with little kanga over here it's been a while but he's down to 28.4 resistance it should not Ooh, mango and zavoria are a little bit happy here as cinnamon carries the pile of fecal sludge through their room Fantastic timing all around on everyone's part there. Look at this turtle over here helping cook. Holy bananas. Turtle, how good is your skill on cooking? Because if your skill's really bad, you could actually be giving us food poisoning. It's incredible. Wow. In fact, this is how I can get fine meals. She should be capable of cooking us fine meals, but instead it's just cooking simple meals. Now that's weird. Why wouldn't she be cooking fine meals when she can... Oh, because we have no meat. Uh, I just forgot that we had no meat. That's obviously why. All right, well, anywho, I decided I also kind of want to try to tame this guy again. It'd be really cool to start getting dinosaurs. Um, so, why don't I set him to tame? And then we'll have, not Cinnamon, but Zavoria come out here in a minute. And so watch my back. And hopefully, as long, actually, how well is Zavoria healed? You know what? Not, ooh, friends! Okay, let's, let's not tame this guy just yet. Major moment, friends. A major moment. A monkey has become tame. It is now designated. It is now designated after how many campaigns has it been? Four or five? At long last, we finally have Monkey Slate once again. Welcome, Monkey Slate, to the colony, you little dope. Please get that. Oh my lord, is this dragon looking thing? It's crazy. Monkey Slate, please, for the love of God. Get yourself into the home area where you're going to be at least moderately safe. By the way, this sludge uh, pile here is not uh, big enough anymore. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, now, now that I'm more able to focus, let's come back here and see if I can't tame this Desmatosuchus. And hopefully... Where did I go? Hauling slate blocks, okay? Looks like Cooper actually is coming over here to haul... Look at this, guys. He's coming all the way up here to grab a slate chunk to bring it all the way down there. Wow! You guys are really helping out. Lynn and Cooper are actually hauling blocks down here so that Jono can continue to craft blocks for us. <gasps> okay, now this is where it gets dicey. Zavoria, thank you for trying to tame Cooper. Cooper, thank you for carrying that brick over there, but let's be very careful. Cinnamon's cleaning. Let's get over her over here just in case things go wrong. There's a 30% chance this thing is going to revolt. Oh, Mango, are you telling lies again? Mango apologized for Cinnamon. Cinnamon has accepted the apology. Mango spread rumor. Mango spread rumor. Cinnamon shared a secret with Mango. Well, Cinnamon, obviously, that's your mistake right there. I mean, I wonder what Mango's uh, apologizing for, but I think we all know, to be entirely honest. In any event, let's get back over here. Cinnamon in that direction, Zavoya over here in case things go horrifically awry. Let's get ready, Zavoria, come on down. That thing is really moving away. Right behind that tree, I suppose. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Cargo pods have crash landed nearby. Sounds like in the river, potentially. And Team failed. Alright. You guys can come off the alert here, and let's go see what's in these cargo pods. Grapes! Hmm. 
Okay, apparently we've found grapes for ourselves. In any event, we're going to have to make a regular wooden wall over here. Uh, we're going to make it something like, whoops. You know what, I'll just plan it out and uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the grapes to be entirely honest. All right, so here's the basic building. I put in a bunch of wooden shelves. For this one, we're actually gonna use wooden plywood boards, unless they're negative. Yeah, they are negative. Let's go with uh, vertical, or rough vertical planks then, because these should be completely neutral. They'll be a lot cheaper. And we only have so much wood here, so we'll fill in this entire room. Beautiful. We'll fill that, and this will be designated as a store uh, very soon. In order to do that, so we're gonna need to come up here to restrict manage areas so we're gonna have to make a new area we're gonna rename this area to store fantastic now uh, you designate over here in the zone areas expand allowed area store and the store will be right here so anything that's contained within these tiles once we set it up uh, which we can do right here with mars we can go over to guest and then shopping area will become store area of accommodation is in the home they are going to be tried to entertain. We're not going to recruit them, and that looks pretty good. So everything we put into this area, they can then buy. So I'll set up my shelves here to contain all the things that I want them to potentially purchase. Meanwhile, we can have a little stockpile zone over here. Whoops, that was just a big lag spike there. And this can be a, another general purpose stockpile zone like the one over here. So we'll copy those settings and then... Well, let's paste those settings in here. Fantastic. Well, I'm getting all these walls done. Thank you very much to Jono. We're getting a fair bit of ingredients as well, which is nice to see. Mars is even helping us haul. Turtles helping us haul and cooking teas up for us. This couldn't be any more fantastic. Mango is helping us clean up here, and so is Cinnamon, making sure we get less food poisonings from all these things. And this is just a happy little colony. It's like having an, a, a nine-person colony, but actually only paying the price for having four. I love it. Cooper, what are you up to? He's just kind of standing here in the middle of the street, relaxing socially. Right out, see, he loves it here. Look at this Cooper. He loves it. He's just standing at the doorway to the kitchen, greeting everyone as they come in. Probably patting cheese on the head as he goes through. What a great little place this is. Most of these things did get moved, which is nice to see. This wood logs chair... I don't believe we're going to need that, actually. I'm probably going to deconstruct it. And then we'll actually have an infirmary and not too long from now. And it looks like we're starting to get... Oh, this is tea. I see. This is plant matter. I just assumed that was um, smoke leaf, which, by the way, is at 57% grown or thereabouts. 56% grown. In any event... We'll just let things go here. Lynn, how you doing in the bathroom over there? This was supposed to... Yeah, that is set for mail. Lynn, what are you doing in the mail bathroom? What are, you, what are you doing in there? This one, I think... Yep, that one's set to female. This one says... Oh, I see. They're using the tubs that are backwards. You have to, I, I assumed it carried through the whole room, but it doesn't. Each item needs to be set to one or the other. Ah, that's what she was doing in there. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, look at that. The uh, Jono just came in here and took a bath after a hard day cutting stone for us. Look at this. Cooper's down here researching for us while Turtle is apparently entertaining Cooper. Cinnamon's going to brew up some coffee for everybody so they can work long and hard for us. Amazing. Oh, what is this? What is this? Proto Solpuga. I don't like... Is that a giant spider? Is this a real thing? God, I hope not. Where is it going? It's going somewhere very aggressively. Ooh, that was scary. I thought for a second that it was going to do something I didn't want. Let's haul... Oh, it's coming down here to eat our berries. God, spiders in ancient times were even worse than modern ones. Not only were they terrible, they also ate your berries and they had some kind of cancerous lump on their back. Terrible. Zavoria, thank you for keeping Jono entertained so he crafts bricks for us all day long. Look at this. Lynn and Mars and Cinnamon all hauling down bricks here to keep the construction going. This is just beautiful. <gasps> and then these guys are wandering through. Kamasaurus. I would love to tame them, but again, 80% chance to fail. Oh, Monkey Slate, what are you doing out there, buddy? 
<laughs> Look at little funky slate. He's back. God, this thing could literally stomp on him in one bite by mistake. It's terrifying. Ooh, look at this. What is this thing? A Diodon, I think, maybe? Some kind of giant border with a cool war stripe on it? Let me guess. It'll try to kill me if I even attempt to think about... No! Revenge chance on tame fail, 10. And it has 7% or almost 7 d melee DPS. And it has a very high nuzzle interval. What does it eat? Vegetables... Corpses, seeds, animals, processed foods, meals, liquor, kibble. This is the important thing, though. Seeds. So I think it'll eat, like, grass and whatnot. Maybe we should try to tame the Diodon. Not yet. Let's grab all these things here and deconstruct them, because we're going to need steel, because I just realized we have no lights in our main room over here. Uh, so we'll throw in, uh, maybe the wall lamp. I can't even put it in there until the wall's in, so I have to forget about that. I'll build a copy of this right there. Keep the paths lit. Kind of want another one right here that's um, focusing down in that direction. Maybe another one over there. This is cool. I am a very big fan of this. It's going to be very well lit. In any event, away we go. Ah, they are absolutely amazed by our hospitality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Visitors are leaving. Cooper absolutely enjoyed our stay. His stay, he left us nine rice. They gave us a score of 100 and will be returning. They helped us out a ton. And now we have jumped into what might be a disastrous thing. A raid. Nope. It's tribes people that are attacking him. What the heck? Are you riding? What? Riesling, the tribesmen, they're all naked. Komodo, one of them's named Komodo. He's, one of them's riding a giant caterpillar into battle. Can you believe it, friends? This is absurdity. What on earth are you thinking? Uh, okay, well, this actually might be a bit of an issue. I have no weapons whatsoever. There was a Oh, you know what, Mango? You dropped your pistol a hundred years ago. Let's get you over here to... No, don't merge the claw. Equip the revolver, and then shift-click your way. Huh. What was the mod that used to allow you to do multiple shift-clicks? Because I don't seem to have... Oh, there we go. Now I can shift-click. Uh, let's get... myself... I mean... There was a club somewhere in the base. I think I put it out here and it rotted away. I can get this 23% bow. <laughs> Better than nothing. Get me over here uh, as well to get ready to shoot in that direction. Cinnamon, obviously, come over here. Fantastic. Zavoria, come over here. This is a little bit dangerous. Now, one thing we need to do and something we have not actually done yet is set up a... Hold on. New area. We're going to call this... Quarry Teen. Very well spelt there, as always. And this is a place where you can send everybody to go if things get scary. So, Quarant Tween is right here, I suppose. All animals. Let's set a new policy over here. We're going to say new animal policy. Rename this one to Raid. Fantastic. So, let's switch our active animal policy over to Raid. And then, during raids, all animals go into quarantine. Fantastic. Ooh, are you guys going to help us? Oh my, how amazing would that be if after all the help they gave us, they actually helped us one more time when they're away out against the ridiculous caterpillar-riding, naked knife-wielding tribesmen. What the heck? It looks like that even might be the case, yeah. I think that's what's going to happen. Let's get Zavoria out here, ready to go. The bottom a little bit. Mac and cheese that are in here. Monkey slates all hidden. They're, these guys are all coming through. They want to pat Mac one more time on the way out. Oh, bye, guys. We'll miss you. Mango, did you get your pistol? Looks like you did. All right, let's get you down here so you can shoot around that corner. Smidgey, maybe even down there. Oh, looks like Cinnamon's taking aim here, friends. The time is now. 
Yep, and here, well, it's definitely, if they're going to help us defend, they're going to do it right now. We'll see. Nice. Big hit on Tronka right out of the gate in the right shoulder. Beautiful. More shots over here on Tronka from Mango. That was in the kidney. Nice work, guys. Ooh, they're going after our friends. Can you believe it? All right, Zavoria, come out here. Uh, let's get some cover behind the trees. Woo, Tronk is already down. Not sure who pulled that one off. Cinnamon's bolt action rifle hit the liver. So it was a combo. Mango and Cinnamon both hit the liver, and Tronk is on the ground now. Tiger is up here. Apparently, Lin is stabbing Tiger. It's not ideal. Oh, look at this. Cooper is in here in the fortifications behind the sandbags helping us out. Look at Jono. This guy's an absolute boss. Absolute boss. Uh, hopefully these guys don't get wounded. Wow! Look at Dirtle. She's 66 years old. She's like an old grandmother who's cooking us tea and then out of nowhere she whips out a shotgun. She's like, I'm the ain't no Grammy. Boom! Big hit right over Lin who did a barrel roll there. Komodo hit with the shotgun. Leg almost blown off by Granny Turtle. This is absurdity. What is evil? Look at Riesling over here. What a dope. So, frigging Riesling, here's a word to the wise, right? If you're going to ride into battle, ride into battle on something that's faster than you are. <laughs> He's just walking in at the slowest possible speed. Let's get Zavoria up here. Where is, um... I thought there were five of them, to be honest. Looks like the... Oh, we killed... No? Maybe there was only ever four. So, if that's the case, Zavoria... Whoo! Mars is taking shots over Lynn's shoulder, which worries me greatly. I don't want... Oh! Granny Turtle just put a shotgun blast into the head of Komodo over there. And Lynn is looking good. Good. Even all those bullets flying... Although, technically, Lynn is using this tree as cover against Mars's micro Uzi. So, thank you, guys! <laughs> Did you guys see that? If you were looking right there when that just happened, Mars was firing bullets. Bullets were flying all around here. Lynn literally had bullets in every direction flying around her. Granny Turtle, however, unfortunately got shot in the left arm. Uh, I think that was a little friendly fire there. But Komodo's on the ground. Tiger's on the ground. And Riesling looks like, oh, yeah, he's out of here. He's like, look at him. Look at him. Run. Run, Riesling. Oh, and his little caterpillar's running away with him. Stupid battle caterpillar. What are you thinking? Well, this this group of visitors, who are these guys from? The Covenant of Hyenera. We're going to be friends with them from now on, because they are incredible. Thank you guys very, very much. You did all the things we needed in every imaginable way. It's fantastic. Let's come back here. We'll set the animals off of a raid back to auto, and they'll go to their normal zones. And we're good. We got Traka and Komodo over here if we want to yoink their stuff. Look at them, they're going aggressive. They're going to try to hunt down Riesling. Nah, they can't get the shot there. What? It's even happening. Granny Turtle's out here bandaging herself up by hand. She's dealt with this before. Shot in the left arm. She doesn't care, none. She's good. It's going to bandage herself up and they're going to come out of here. Amazing. Look at all this delicious, delicious snacks. Riesling exchanged pleasantries with Tronka. When did they have time to do that, huh? Any gear over here? No, they got nothing. All right, well, that's going to work out very, very well for us. One thing we might want to do now is make sure that our simple meals... Hmm, you know we could... Ah, oh, we can't cook fine meals, unfortunately, because Granny Turtle just tootled. What's Cinnamon's medicine for uh, cooking? It's up to a five now. She just hit level five. At level six, you can make fine meals. That's really what we need. We can make fine human meals. Until then, I think we'll just make some simple, simple human meals. That'll be the first thing on the docket as soon as we're done uh, butchering them up whenever that happens. Ooh, something big is strolling into town here. What the heck is it? Euoplosiophallus. Look at this thing. It's crazy. What does it have? Revenge chance on tame. 30. This doesn't look all that bad. I would really like whatever that is. Let's give it a whirl since I'm over here. Have me go prioritize taming it. Zavoria, if you could be so kind as to come out here and get ready just in case things go wrong. 
I know you want to wash in the bathtub, but not just yet, Zavoria. Where did I go? Oh, I'm going down here to get some rice to go try to the taming it. Let's get Cinnamon over here as well. She was cleaning up, but not super necessary. Before we get a little bit closer. I really hope we can get at least one of these guys. I also like that Mango just happens to be nearby, just in case. Come on. Come on, you weird-looking whatever the heck you are. Not making it easy on us, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, we got it, friends! I have tamed ye plus phallus. Ye old nice phallus, I guess we can call this guy. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, what should we name him? Comments down below. We've got one of these guys now. Let's take a closer look. A powerful and tanky anky lassorid that is more brawn than brain gentle and docile until angered these dinosaurs pack a very painful punch when enraged it looks like they're um I'm not sure if they're fast or not at four i think that's faster than a human they're they got a huge amount of meat they're not pack animals pain shock threshold 80 percent not sure if that's good or not Trainability intermediate uh, and nuzzle interval every five days. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a train here for obedience. I'm not sure if we need to do release. Or now, once I get this tanky guy all set up on obedience, I can have him follow me around. And that'll be absolutely fantastic. Because then we can go tame other dinosaurs and he can tank for us if it's... Uh, it's viable now one thing we're obviously going to need to do now is restrict let's call this area one we're going to call this um dino tank ballast tank awesome uh, and let's set up a place for him outside so he doesn't i'm assuming he eats forgettables but could be wrong about that boy it's hard to click on these guys listen to him he's got noises he makes Vegetables, seeds, live plants, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so let's set him... Oh, 55% chance to tame and obedience. There we go, one out of three. Let's set him into uh, this area. He can eat all of this food outside. Looks great to me. And then he won't go inside and make a huge mess. Fantastic, friends. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this mango and myself getting this pathway put in, which is beautiful. And oddly enough, that one tile there somehow got deleted. I'm not sure how that happened. But in any event, we're very close to getting the wood now that we need to make the next bamboo sculpture. It's 75 ingredients. We've got 58. We only need one more plant, basically. And this one's at 93%. These ones are all at 90. I think we get about 13. So that'll bump us up. And eh, we won't quite get there. We need two more plants, actually. But we'll have them all probably within a day. And then hopefully that's going to be before the wedding. And we can complete our little wedding gift to Zavoria and Mango. We get deterioration notice over here on a club. Ooh. Well, once we get this put together, we can haul all those weapons down into that. Mango, where are you going, buddy? Hauling steel to stick land. Ooh, what is this? Presto suchus. Ooh, that one looks scary. Mango, be careful out there, friends. That is not a dinosaur you want to mess with, I don't think. By the way, do you guys see all these corpses everywhere? Monkey dead, monkey dead, rat dead. I think this is just the cobra slicing across the universe. Here's a guinea pig. A guinea pig boy. Oh, look. There's guinea pig boars now. Yep, the cobra. <laughs> Where are those cobras? Seriously, they've killed so many things on this map. Cassowary, honey badger, Komodo dragon. Doesn't this game feel soup? Ducks? We could have ducks? Look how cool they... Look at this little stupid thing. Look at its face. It's the noise it makes. There we go. The cobras are multiplying now. There's actually three of them. 
guinea pig boar. Oh, look, we could have guinea pig boars in the house. Please tell me they nuzzle every five minutes, right? They're just like, nuzzle 1.2 days. This actually might make sense to have a ton of guinea pigs. What's their cleanliness? Wildness, 15%. They're very easy to tame. Animal filth rate, 0.25. Now, I don't know what that means. Let's look at a Komodo dragon. Animal filth rate, 1.38. So that seems pretty good. Looks like guinea pigs are mostly clean. Let's compare it to this big one over here. Wow, 6.25 filth rate. All right. Guinea pigs would be a fun little thing just for nuzzles. Everyone would be super happy, and I bet they multiply fast, right? Let's go try to tame the one guinea pig female. And then we've got a choice on the males. I want to I go by color over here. So this is the female. It's white. This is another male. He's kind of brown. How about this one? He's kind of white. He's brown. I like the white ones because they have these little fluffy snouts that are also brown. Let's tame that guy too. Now that might be... Oh, there's a whole pack of these guys over here next to the ducks who are next to these cattails. This is super, listen to them. It's like a nature safari in here. It's gonna take us forever to wander across the universe, but if we can get a bunch of uh, guinea pigs before they leave the map or they get killed by cobras, that'll be absolutely fantastic for us. One minor conundrum here is we're getting our human corpses in here, uh, but we don't have our butcher's table. So what I'm going to do is reinstall it in here. We don't, I mean, we actually do have the space to put it right there, I suppose. So I will do that. And let's grab this chair. We'll reinstall it right here. Awesome. And then let's grab this corpse a pile, copy the settings, delete it. And then we'll set up another one, maybe like right here in the middle. And paste the settings. Awesome. All right. What am I up to? Team failed. 63% chance. I'm trying to get those little guinea pigs. That's going to be amazing if we can get them. Problem is, it's, ooh, they might get chomped, though. No, watch out, guinea pig. Watch out. Look at that thing. It's ridiculous. Ah, Zavoria has created a wooden shelf masterwork, which is interesting. Now we can clear all and allow the short bows over there, and these things will get sold. The other thing we probably want to allow for right now is um, tribal wear, because those are the only other things we know that we want to sell. Uh, we got some of that right there. Awesome. We can now unforbid these two things. Additionally, and more importantly, I just tamed myself this little guy. Little Manic. Look at this. Komodo dragons, cobras, Manics walking across the way, a Geo Sternbergia, two of these biggins, one of those guys. What? This world, the capybaras over there. All by the lily pad thing. Like marsh swamp while pineapples just grow out of the ground. It's incredible. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to get little Manic here uh, inside the home zone for sure. He's gonna nuzzle everybody. It's gonna be amazing. He's just gonna be a pet. I actually kind of want to make sure he only stays inside, so I might go inside uh, inside territory only. But we'll work on that in just a minute. For now, yes, I just wanted to make sure all these things got hauled so that they were inside. They got a roof. We got to put the the light on there. In the back wall, the wall lamp, we'll put it... Hmm, should we put two in here? Let's put one on this side. And then one on this side. It should be more than adequate. Major break risk on me. Cin cinnamon revealed my secret. I also ate without a table, likely because I was a thousand miles away uh, from the home base here. It's soaking wet. I'm soggy. Uh, all of our corpses look like they might be spoiling in about a day. So we still have some time on that. Uh, and Kanga down here has been getting reduced quite a bit. He's down to 21.1, which is fantastic. Wait, make that 19.8, actually. We're getting down about two and a half per day. Look at little Manic walking around. Guys, what do we name Manic? 
We're gonna name our first dinosaur, and we gotta name our first guinea pig. And then we actually are gonna get our store built, which is amazing. Whew! Wow, that was incredibly fast. I gotta be careful with these shelves. Uh, because if they, by default, I'm not sure what they have in them. Looks like by default they have nothing in them. Let's copy the settings here. Because any, if anything comes into this by mistake, we're going to end up selling whatever it is. You want to make sure that doesn't happen. Whoa, whoa! Monkey Slate became the target of a cobra. All right, friends. That is it. The time has come. I think, for a mass cobra extermination. These guys have killed one too many things. Zavoria, come on over here. Uh, Mango, you got that pistol. Let's come over here. This is the cobra, right? Right there? Yeah, he's coming after a little monkey slate. Those cobras, they just love the monkey brains. Absurd. Mango? Nice. Put that cobra down. Although, technically, Zavoria, you coming over? Yeah. I don't think Mango's gonna hit a snake with his gun. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do. Okay, Cinnamon, uh, this is getting a little bit dicey because Monkey Slate... Hmm, we could hide Monkey Slate inside. Monkey Slate very quickly, get into the quarantine. Mango has missed every single shot. Cinnamon, though? Nope. No such luck. Zavori is still many miles away here. Mango, you need to come over here and help. Now that Cobra is probably going to turn its gaze over here on Manic. Nice, Monkey Slate, you hide in there. See, now he's all dopey, doesn't know what to do. He's never seen. He's never seen a monkey. Oh! Manic became the target of the cobra. He was coming down here to murder our little guinea pig. That is it, friends. That is it. Let's find the rest of these cobras and wreck them from the map. Well, they're actually really far away. Zavoria, you can come over there and take care of it. You and Mango, I think, together. Cinnamon can go about doing her business. Where's the last one? Oh, he's up there. Oh, he's up there in a field of monkeys. Surprise, surprise. Sorry, Monkey Slate. Looks like your aunt over here got wrecked by Cobra. Poor thing. Oh, no. Whatever this guy is, he's on fire. The Tannistrophius. What the heck? Did he die from the fire? The Tannistrophius nipped the Protosolpuga in the right... No way. The Protosolpuga is that spider looking... That was this one over here. No way, the, the spider actually managed to kill that thing? What's a pronotum? Whatever it was, it was bitten off. No, the Tannosaurus killed it, and then it looks like he may actually have, uh... He may actually have bled out, yeah, blood loss extreme, and that's what killed him. He just got too wounded, and now he's up there burning to death, unfortunately. For no good reason. That's 190 meat? Holy. Um... Please, Monkey Slate, you want to come back out? Don't worry about it. We'll we'll try to keep you safe. I don't know if anyone could get up there. Mango, could you maybe fight the fire? Or uh, maybe we can haul this guy back somehow. Dead burning. We can't do it. Probably because he's on fire. All right. Well, Zavori can go, I think, kill the cobra by herself. She'll be fine. Whoa, look at this big one over there. It's crazy. What's this little guy? Look at him, he's so small. Hell's Hellscoraptor. Oh look, he's like a little bird. It's cool. Come on, man, go. Nice! Hope the rain will save us up here. Roto Sulpuga has 53 meat. He's not worth it. Hopefully, man. Oh, we missed it. He got there just as he burnt up. All right, Mango, while you're here, maybe. If you just hit that Cobra once, that's probably enough. If you miss, though, and you... I mean, if you hit it, he could actually kill you if you don't kill it in the first shot. But it's a snake, right? I mean, how many bullets do you really need to kill it? Meanwhile, Zavoria's over here. Let's see. Mango and Zavoria, friends. Soon to be husband and... W wow. Let's actually leave that unforbidden. We don't want that at all. Let's come up here. Let's hope Mango doesn't get killed now trying to shoot a cobra in the rainstorm. Mango, come on, buddy. Ooh, there we go. Nice work, Mango. Is that it for cobras? Yes. Stupid things. They must have killed 700 animals in the map. What are you doing in the bathroom? Huge phallus, get out of there. 
I literally thought that I restricted you. I did. That's not... Wait, wait a minute. Are you actually, like, trained? Are you using the bathroom? Like, how the heck... How are you even in there? It's not in your zone. Look at these kiwis, guys. They're everywhere. There's one in here drinking our tea and our coffee. This little turtle wants to have fun, too. What on earth is happening? By the way, we've got very little time left on these hunams. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do kind of with priority. Oh, there's a manhunter pack. Manhunting Moklodons have entered the area. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. Oh, boy. There, There's three of them. Um, how much damage? 4.65. How fast are they? Five. We can't outrun them. And there's a bunch of them. This is not good, friends. Not good. An iguanodontid with an orange hide. They can be found wandering in small herds, searching for new grazing grounds. All right, well, when's we returning? It looks like we're going to have a legitimate threat on our hands for the first time since we started. These guys are fast is the thing. And I think Manhunters these days, you can't just cheese them by running through a locked door. They'll just break the door down. Um, so we're going to have to actually fight them somehow. And we don't have any traps. I, do, I wasn't thinking about manhunting packs. So that's unfortunate. Uh, on the plus note, though, we did we had one goal, which was to build this thing. And we almost got it complete. Like, we're very close. Or actually, are we out of wood? We have no wood. And I don't see any on the ground. So yeah, we, we used too much wood there. Uh, probably putting in the floors because I didn't account for that. So we're going to have to chop a little bit more. And then that will be enough to finish this up. And then, of course, next time we're going to have to move the bench down here. Butcher up the Hunams. Give ourselves some mood buffs. We might have to start thinking about where to... Actually making legitimate sleeping spots for the animals inside. Especially Monkey Slate. Look at this. It's so nice. And probably actually putting up traps and some other stuff. But anywho, so let me know in the comments down below what we should name our Euro phallus over here. And also what we should name our brand new guinea pig. Mac the guinea pig. So he's our male. Do we still have the, the female guinea? No, uh, we did. No, the female either got eaten or it's gone. Unfortunately. Was it one of those cobras again? It either got eaten or it wandered off. So, un oh, is that it? No. Is this it? No. Nope. I could have sworn. What happened to this one, though? This one was bitten by a cobra. I think that was the other male. Because we were trying to get both the white ones. Hmm. Am I looking at it wrong? Oh, no. Manic is the female. Oh, I, I looked at the wrong one. I was looking at Mac over here. I get the M's confused. So if that's the case, this guinea pig is a male. He's brown, but he'll do. Let's go tame him up. I suppose uh, our other male got eaten by a cobra, but we did kill all the cobras. And just in the nick of time, maybe to get two guinea pigs so we can breed a million, million of them and just have like an endless pile of nuzzles. I think what we'll do is we'll put Cinnamon into a bigger room, give her 900 animal beds, and she'll just be nuzzled every five seconds, and then always have really good... <laughs> it's like some mother Cinnamon and nuzzles. <laughs> It'll be amazing. Then she'll never go on a mental break. She's the most important character, by the way, because she has to make the foods, uh, at least until we recruit Kanga, which is getting close. It's coming along. So, anywho, when's are returning? We've got a dinosaur invasion which actually might be really difficult, given how big they are. But maybe we can get lucky and... Um, that's it. Fittery hit. I don't know. We'll have to see. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. I don't want... Oh! Granny Turtle just put a shotgun blast into the head of Komodo over there, and Lynn is looking good. Good.
Even all those bullets flying, although technically Lin is using this tree as cover against Mars's micro Uzi. So, thank you guys! Woo! 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 Did you guys see that?